Hi there! This is Dave Kelso, and on this episode of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy, we are going to be talking about the physics of legislation. Paradigm Shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. So Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, we egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect, your common building style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be to the fullest. No matter what you're talking about within human society, everything has to abide by physics, you know. With gravity, um, okay, I need something to demonstrate gravity here. With gravity, what goes up must inevitably come down. Um, rocks are hard, water is wet. You know, you get the idea. So, no matter what a person thinks, or feels, or believes, physics tends to hold true. So, Earth, of course, is a big enough planet, and it has gravity, and so, you know, it has to abide by these things. No, no matter what you write down on paper, <laughs> physics is physics, right? So, that being the case, even legislation cannot defy physics. You can't um, write words on paper and hope that that acts as a, a magical spell that will override physics for no reason because unicorns. So, this being the case, in order to demonstrate the physics of legislation, um, we're going to give you an actual physics example which parallels an actual example of legislation. The example that we're going to use today is that water seeks its own level. Um, if you're not quite sure what that means, I'll explain it. It's obviously more metaphoric language than anything. Water seeking its own level means if you have a container, and let's say it's filled with water, or you're going to fill it with water, and you poke a hole in the bottom of that container, that gravity will first force that water down. The force of gravity will force it down, and it will continue applying that force. Now, the hole in that container, as gravity pushes the water down, um, the water can escape out of that hole. So, let's say you have two buckets and at the bottom they're con connected together with um, a piece of PVC piping. When you put water in one bucket, gravity will push it down, it'll go through the pipe, and it'll also start to fill the other bucket. As that pushes down, that'll push up. Just like air and water displacement, that sort of thing. So filling one bucket is filling both buckets. And that's just some simple basic physics that you know you could try at home if you want. Um, any kids watching, make sure you don't, like, screw up your parents' buckets or anything. Make sure you have permission for that, that sort of stuff. Otherwise, you know, people are going to get mad at you, and that just wouldn't be cool. All right. So, anyway, um, the example that, um, we are going to use legislation-wise is, um, people have this idea that if you put words on paper and you call it a gun ban, for example, that this is going to put up a magical force field that 
prevents criminals from being criminals. As if words on paper, you know, have anything to do with anything, and obviously they don't. Um, so, yeah, the, the actuality of things is that the United States has very unsecure borders. Um, you know, anybody can just go back and forth as, as they please to. Our borders are very unsecure. And of course, um, you know, completely putting aside the, uh, the illegal immigrant and refugee problems, um, you know, just the idea that, you know, you could, you could drive a van filled with guns, you know, across that border. Assault weapons, whatever you want. Happens with guns and drugs all the time. Um, the black market is, is a very lucrative market. And also, when you ban things and make them illegal, you drive the price of those things up. So bans are good for business. Um, it's also easy enough when you're well enough connected to get things in and out of, you know, harbors and ports and, you know, things like that. Just through bribery, blackmail, paying people off, etc. So, um, to demonstrate um, this idea with, with, a, with a physics example, here's what we're going to do. I'm in my backyard right now, as you can see, I've got my pond behind me, and we've got all this beautiful nature, so um, I'm going to pretend that this backyard is my country, okay? This backyard is my country, and um, I am the hypocrite-in-chief dictator of that country, and uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to call this... Um, uh, Pondlandia, the country of, of Pondlandia, the, the, the united conglomerate of Pondlandia. Okay, so I'm now as the, as the supreme ruler and dictator of Pondlandia, um, all of the, uh, the water and the rocks and the plants, animals, insects, anything within my domain of Pondlandia are my citizens and subject to my supreme rule. So, as the supreme overlord, ultimate dictator of Pondlandia, I'm going to um, write up an executive order right now. And um, I'm going to call it Executive Order HR 69420-666-LOL. And um, what this executive order is going to dictate is that... Um, I've now made it illegal for water to seek its own level. Um, any any violators of, of this uh, legislation, um, and obviously only water itself would be able to violate it since I'm making it illegal for water to seek its own level, kind of like making it illegal for <laughs> law-abiding citizens to have guns, that sort of thing. Um, any water that is caught um, seeking its own level will incur a a life sentence of being evaporated into the air by the sun. Of course, there's not quite much sun out right now. It's overcast. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna go with that anyway. Okay, so HR six nine four twenty six 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 LOL is now in effect in the United uh, Dictatorial Communist State of Conlandia. And, um, I obviously don't have any police, I, I don't have a police force, but here's what I do have. I have a big ass scary hammer. See? It's big, it's scary. Mm, scary hammer. Fear the hammer. Hammer will get you. Hammer is force. Hammer is authority. You will obey the hammer, or the hammer will be all like bash, bash, Hulk smash. You know, like Hulk when angry. Okay, so this this is my police force. So now, with the enforcement of hammer, it's hammer time. So with the enforcement of that. I'm now going to 
enforce my my executive order HR 69420-666 LOL I'm going to enforce that um, onto a bag of water okay so we have our our nice little Ziploc bag of water there and um, I decree that by executive order HR 69420-666 LOL it is now illegal in the communist socialist nazi dictatorship of Hanlandia with me as Obama killery in chief I declare it is illegal now for water to seek its own level so I'm gonna go ahead and take these scissors I'm, I'm gonna cut a hole in this bag and um, <laughs> yeah it's it, see it's already scared it tipped over all on its on its own it's it's the hammer it's it's really terrifying this is hammer you could obviously tell that um okay so because i put these words black text words on a white background um this should automatically make it so that when i when i cut a hole in this bag that it, you know nothing's gonna come out because unicorns for no reason okay so so watch let's let's see how effective this is right okay Oh, oh shit! Oh man, it's it, it, it's leaking all the fuck over the place. Water is still seeking its own level. How and why did that happen? I mean, I, I put I put black text on 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 a white background, and I called it an executive order, and and, and declared myself the supreme dictator. And I've got a big ass hammer, big, big scary hammer. I mean, look, look at, look at how scary this hammer is. Like, shouldn't I? Like, wouldn't you be afraid of this hammer? Someone's coming at you with this hammer. Yeah, I mean, look at how big, scary this hammer is. Why, why did this happen? Uh, I have a big scary hammer. I have words that have been typed. I, I mean, I've got everything I need that totally should have stopped this water from coming out of this bag. How could this possibly have happened? This is, I don't, I just don't understand. I mean, I've, I've got the hammer of enforcement and, and I've got my words, uh, I've got my text, my magic text that creates force fields for no reason because unicorns. So how could this possibly have ever happened? This is, this is crazy. How, the water should have stayed in the bag no matter what I did because unicorns for absolutely no reason. Why? How could this, how could this have happened? How? Well, I'll tell you how it happened. Regardless of whether or not it's Obama, Hillary Clinton, or... Hey guys, can you be quiet a minute? I'm trying to finish up the video. Just, I'll only be another minute. Thanks. I'll tell you how it happened. Regardless of whether it's Obama, Hillary Clinton, or Captain Kirk, no matter how much more power any of them might want to obtain, it's like Mr. Scott always said, you cannot change the laws of physics, Jim. You can ignore them, you can learn about them, you can go with them, but you cannot change them. Because, as William Bell said in the Fringe TV series, physics is a bitch.